Hello friends, in the present video, we will see how to find the pile capacity by using dynamic methods. So in dynamic method, the pile capacity will be considered as a dynamic resistance to drive the pile. Dynamic capacity that can be considered as equal to resistance to drive the pile. That means if you consider any pile and for the driving of a pile, we have to apply some external force. That energy, or we can call, call it as a dynamic capacity, or we can call it as a dynamic energy. That can be considered as a resistance that is offered by the pile. So this total driving energy or dynamic energy, that will be considered as work of pile penetration work of pile penetration plus loss of energy so whatever may be the case 100 percent energy is not utilized so uh, somewhere there will be some loss of energy so if you are including the loss of energy plus the resistance coming from the penetration that will be considered as a dynamic energy and that itself it is related to the pile capacity of a pile. So in dynamic methods, we have two important methods. First one is engineering new formula. Engineering new record formula. This simply we can call it as a ENR formula and second one is Hilles formula. In the present video, we will discuss about the engineering new record formula. Engineering new record formula. As it is an empirical method, we have to buy hard the formula here and also with respect to corresponding unit. So according to engineering new record formula, ultimate capacity of a pile that can be written as W into H divided by S plus C. And you will get a pile capacity in kilo newtons. So this is applicable for drop and single acting steam hammer single acting steam hammer drop is nothing but a manually with respect to will pay some height and then will keep on dropping the hammer if it is a single acting hammer the pile or the weight of the hammer that will be applied through some piston okay we will see what are these constants and all in the after reading the formula that will be equal to ultimate capacity of your pile that will be equal to W plus A into P divided by S plus C into H. Again, this formula will be in kilonewtons. This is for the double acting steam. Double acting steam. Double acting steam hammer. So let us see the parameters here. Okay. So this is what about the ultimate capacity. What about the safe capacity? Safe capacity that will be written as ultimate capacity divided by factor of safety. So in general, factor of safety will be adopted as six. So this six value you have to buy hard it. This value may give or may not give in the exam. If they mention you, if it is an engineering new formula, you have to remember this value as a six. And coming to the parameters, W is nothing but a weight of hammer. 
weight of hammer used to drive the pile this weight is always we have to consider it in kilo newtons always remember units are very very must and should and h is nothing but a height of fall of hammer height of fall of hammer that means if you are a pile here and if you are dropping a hammer from this level so from the height to the pile that will be nothing but a height so this you will measure it in centimeters always remember the units you have to substitute in proper way w you should substitute in kilonewton height of the fall of hammer you have to substitute in centimeter and coming to the s s is nothing but a penetration penetration per blow so this also you have to substitute in centimeter suppose in general it is taken as the average of last five blows average of last five blows for drop hammer and it will be average of last 20 blows for steam hammer either it may be single acting or it may be double acting so these values we have to buy hot it what they will give you uh, they will give you the uh, blows 1 2 3 and in the right side table they will give you the penetration so they will not mention you how much value you have to consider but in the problem if they mention if it is a drop hammer last five blows average you have to take it as a s if they mention it is a steam hammer last 20 blows average you have to consider it so depending upon the type of the uh, hammer load you are using whether it is a drop hammer or whether it is a steam hammer you have to take the average of different blows and c is nothing but a constant normally this constant is accounted for elastic compression of pile and soil elastic compression pile and soil so as we are applying some dynamic load with respect to the hammer there may be a chance that your pile may get compressed and also the soil beneath the pile the pores can be filled isn't why the soil get compressed because of the force acting on the hammer that's why some constant c is considered this accounts for the elastic compression of pile and the soil so this constant that will be equal to 2.5 cm if it is a drop hammer this value will be equal to 0.25 cm if it is a steam hammer whether it may be double acting or single acting so these values always you have to substitute in proper unit weight of the hammer you have to substitute in kilonewton height of fall you have to substitute in centimeter penetration you should substitute in centimeter and elastic constant that also you have to substitute in the centimeters okay this is what about the parameters that are involved in the drop hammer and single acting hammer and if you are talking about the double acting steam hammer then a one parameter is there p also one parameter is there so there a is nothing but a area of piston area of piston or else you can call it as a hammer area of piston or hammer this value you have to consider in meter square and p is nothing but a steam pressure steam pressure applied this you have to consider it in kilonewton per meter square only understood so all these are empirical formulas so we have to by heart the formula and also parameters also you have to by heart the and also in proper units only you have to substitute this okay in the next video we will see kiles method thank you